We had so much fun building Reinhardt's rocket hammer. On this episode of Make It Real, we're going to build Torbjorn's turret. Now obviously we can't make an actual automated turret with say a gun or something, so we're going to be using a paintball gun instead. This project was made possible by DigiKey, who sent us all the electronic components we needed for it overnight. All right, but first, let's back up a bit. We've been meaning to make an automated sentry turret for a few years now, ever since we acquired this stage gimbal. See, these are actually used for stage lights at a theater, kind of like this. But it wasn't until one of our new employees, Bogdan, took an interest in the project and started working on it. Alright, so how does it work? We designed the turret to have two different modes, automated tracking and manual mode. For automated tracking, we're actually using a Pixie module, which is an Arduino compatible color sensor board which does all the processing on the board. I actually backed the Pixie on Kickstarter a few years ago, and now it's ready for a purchase immediately off digikey.com. For a complete explanation of the electronic system, please visit maker.io for more information. The link's in the description below. We've programmed the Pixie to track the blue of Captain America's shield. Now let's see if we can actually track it using the turret. <laughs> so as you can see, the turret is following the blue signature of the shield. When we flip the shield over, there's no longer any blue in the field of vision for the camera, which means the turret stops tracking. Now the automated tracking is really cool, but we also added a manual mode so you can use it with a remote. Switch. Plug it back in and grab your remote. Plus, did I mention how strong this thing is? It uses two 24 volt gear DC motors. And as you can see, <laughs> it's got a bit of power to it. And in manual mode, you can use the FPV module to see exactly what the turret is looking at. As you may have noticed, this doesn't quite look like Torbjorn's turret, so let's fix that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's cheating. Do it right. Mm -hmm. Now to make part of the turret, we're going to be using some flexible mirrors that we purchased from the dollar store. And answer the age-old question. Can you laser a mirror? All right, so now that we have our mirrors, they're going to be mounted to this 3D printed part. The problem is we actually have to put a bend in the mirror. Now normally you can do this by using some kind of heated wire with a uh, bending jig, but did you know you can actually use a laser cutter to do this as well? 
So what we're going to do is actually defocus the laser until the laser beam is almost a centimeter in diameter, which means when you cut that line right here, it's actually just going to heat the plastic. Then we can pull it out and bend it to shape. Stay tuned for the next video where we test Torbjorn's turret to the limit. We're going to light some people up with paintballs. Also, make sure you hit that notify button next to the subscribe button. And if two videos a week isn't enough for you, follow us on social media. We post pictures almost daily. Thanks for watching. There's no safe word. <laughs> the safe word is Humphrey Obi-Wan Kenobi.